Welcome back to the channel. Um, a DIY one for you. DIY one. I'm going to replace the table that I've got in the van. I'm just going to remake another one. I made it out of pallet wood during lockdown because I was bored, as everybody was. Uh, and it's all right, but it's never been perfect. So uh, I wanted to make another one out of some new bits of wood, and I might even paint it, maybe like a sage green, like a French chic or something like that. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Um, also, I'm going to make a thing called a seat shelf. Some of you might know what a seat shelf is. If you don't, then you will do by the end of this video. Um, you can buy them um, already pre-made if you like and uh, I actually I've been speaking with a chap who does make them he's a really nice chap not sponsored but I'll link uh, down to his site below because some of you guys might not be that bothered building one you might just want to just go out and buy one which is perfectly fine uh, but me being a Yorkshireman as per usual uh, I decided I wanted to build one uh, so yeah I'm going to build one of those maybe have some cup holders in it um, I don't know I'll figure it out I'll figure it out as I go along I always do and then the other thing I want to do is make this cupboard uh, to the right of me here it's you it, it's just always stuffed full of stuff and like things like you know it, it just it becomes a bit of a pain so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and compartmentalize it so then uh, there are sections and shelves uh, maybe carpet the shelves so when things move around they don't rattle um, make sure it fits like tins obviously pot noodles make sure it's high enough for that um, and maybe find um, like a tub uh, that I can use that will slide in and out as well so we can slide in and out tubs but get to everything if that makes sense uh, because at the moment it's just a bit of a stuff place and um, when there's something right at the bottom you have to get everything out to get the thing out from the bottom so I'm going to try and figure out that as I go along um, and yeah just kind of generally tidy this cupboard up a little bit uh, and make it a little bit more snazzy uh, but yeah no real plan just um, cut wood and see if it fits <laughs> it's generally how I build stuff so anyway yeah look forward to that um, and yeah this is the video okay two bye just before I go um, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to reproof the pop top. Um, loads of people have suggested uh, a spray on Fab Sil, it's called, um, to reproof it. Uh, and basically, what it does is it means that when the rain hits it, it beads and drips off rather than either soaking in or staying on there. So then your pop top's wet and stuff like that. It's like stuff that you spray on tents or your shoes uh, or coats and things. So then it beads and runs off rather than absorbing. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to do that as well. Uh, so yeah, a, a, a van day. It's going to be a van day. Nice.
Good morning, guys. Uh, right, it's time to build the shelf. Um, I'm going to show you in stages because I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing myself. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll build a little bit and then I'll film a little bit and show you where things are uh, and how I've attached stuff and whatnot. Um, and also the uh, seat shelf, I'm fully aware after editing a little bit of this video um, to this point that it doesn't really show much of the seat shelf now it's finished. So what I'll do is I'll pick that up and I'll show you it and everything like that in a little bit more detail. So we'll talk about that. Um, my new battery bank has arrived and it's ace. Uh, you probably noticed it at the beginning of the video, I've been using circular saws and sanders and everything like that with it. I just thought, you know, it's easier than dragging an extension out. So yeah, that's arrived, but I'm gonna do like a, another video uh, like showing off-grid power options and that will be in that video at some point. Uh, next Friday's video is going to be uh, the Yorkshire Caravan and Camping Show at the Harrogate Showground, so I'm going to go down to that. It should be ace. Um, if any of you guys are going down, then it'd be lovely to see you there. I'm going down on the Friday uh, because we are busy with the family on the Saturday and the Sunday, so uh, sadly we all can't go. Uh, I'm going to get my trusty workbench out um, and uh, let's start cutting wood and uh, building a shelf in the nonsense massive cupboard in the van. Right then, I hope it helps someone. If it helps one person on this channel, then I've done my job. Okay, right, I'll see you in a bit, bye. Right, so I've been uh, messing around with some bits of wood and um, I think I've come up with a bit of a system. Now, one of the things that I need to make sure I can do is get this in and out. Uh, so there's gonna be two shelves. Uh, there's gonna be one about this high, uh, about the same height as this shelf here, uh, and then there's gonna be one a little bit higher up. Um, now I'm going to make that gap big enough to get the battery bank that I've got in there so I can put it in and out when I want. It's not going to be a permanent fixture, but it's going to be an option to be able to get it in and out. But then obviously you'll be able to get cups in there, beans in there, bread in there, whatever it is that you want to get in there. And then I'll also at the end of the shelf put a bit of a lip to stop things sliding off. Now, the idea I've got so far is this is the back button. Uh, you might not be able to see it if you can, Ace. Yeah, you can. Right, this is all obviously just dry installed at the moment there's nothing uh, drilled in then this will go there and then this will go like that if that makes sense obviously all screwed in and nicely and stuff and straight because that's not <laughs> and then same on the other side uh, and then um and then obviously you know batten that out to the shelf size now the shelf itself's not going to come all the way out to the front uh, it's going to be about there so then I can get this in fact let me just do this so you can see it's gonna be about there so I can get this in there still and down and still get to the bottom half because there's the main fuse box for the electric hookup in there um, so I'm gonna start cutting some bits and building some bits and then when I get to a certain point in the frame build uh, then I'll show you what I've done right so we're well on with the shelf now um, I'll put some beer all over this but um, I've done the frame uh, the frames pretty much in uh, that's going to be there for the bottom shelf. I still need to do the top shelf uh, and then once that's done uh, This is an old bit of wood, but I'm gonna make the contoured pieces of Boards that I'm gonna use as shelves and then put uh, a Lip on it so then nothing falls off and then I'm gonna carpet them and then screw them to the thing So they're not gonna fly off and then I've got some other ideas a little hingy bits So yeah, I'll show you in a bit of b-roll, but yeah, it's looking ace. Right, I've just done a whole piece to camera and uh, will not even recording. <laughs> right, okay, so the shelf is coming on quite nicely now. Uh, what I've done on here is I've put, because the shelf will come all the way out to the end, uh, all the way, the full depth um, of this top half here. Uh, I've still yet to put uh, like a bottom, I've got like a bottom piece on here now. It's not drilled in and screwed because what I want to do with that is carpet it so it looks nice and neat. I might even paint these bits. Not figured that bit out yet, but that's basically how I roll. You've got to be prepared to fail when you make stuff up on the fly. Uh, and I fail quite a lot. You've seen in videos where I've done it wrong. Um, but so far, so good. It's going well. Um, it's not perfect, but it's safe. And that's the main thing. Um, it's going to hold a lot of weight. I could probably get in there. <laughs> um, what I have used, though, is little L brackets. Uh, these little bad boys to join the... Um, what's it called? To like join the shelf bits together rather than drilling and then screwing the wood. Uh, so you probably see I'll do a bit of b-roll of one of those But yeah, it's all coming together nicely nice and nice and spicy <laughs> Right, so I've pretty much finished the top shelf. Uh, I've carpeted it I've put the uh, little batten thing on it to stop things from sliding this way Just got to do one on the side there. Uh, I might even panel this side bit off uh, And then you can get in beans you can get in cups you can get in all sorts of things Even if they're tall but thin they'll go in and they can stand up because there's quite a lot of space above 
uh, it just makes use of that top half of the shelf that just really never got used before uh, so i'm moving on down to the bottom shelf now uh, and then before i carpet that and sort that out i'm gonna um, see if i can figure out a hinged thing on here that will work when it's carpeted we're getting there uh, showed you this shelf earlier that's all lovely looking snazzy and everything the glue is dried on the carpet that's ace um, so i started working on the second shelf down which is brilliant but you can see oh no my water bottle stuck but it's not check this boom shakalaka to the new style of rocker nice um, <laughs> um so yeah i've made a, a hinged bit of shelf there uh, i've put the um uh, like a batten on there as well so then it stops things from sliding off while we're traveling but then also you know we've got a little section under here now that we can get to and i made sure i could get to that which is ace um that just goes down there nicely it's just on with a couple of hinges one there and one there um these wires uh don't worry about these these are just for the electric hookup to charge your battery and then that's for the borden's generator um but what i'm going to do is um block off these side bits here uh, so things don't fall that way while we're driving and the same at the top there um, and also these bits of wood i'm going to paint them because uh, they just look way snazzier painted than they would do just as bare wood i'm always dead worried when uh, stuff goes right because there's like a disaster around the corner i know there is but whatever it's going right i'm happy that's fine um and yeah happy days right i shall crack on see you bye right then i think i've finished um a few little tweaks to be made uh, but I think it's all done now. Um, I've got my new battery bank in there, which again, I'll talk about in another video. Uh, I've got the shelf up here sorted. I've blocked off the uh, electric so they don't get knocked when there's tins of stuff up there. Uh, and then obviously the uh, shelf here with the, the batten on, and then that lifts up so you can get into this bottom half here, which is chasmus, but chasmus, I've just made that word up, that's fine. Um, uh, what I might do, which I've mentioned before, is just paint these bits of wood um and then that's pretty much it um i'm really happy considering i just basically made it up as i went along oh also what i've done uh, is i'll show you in fact i'll show you so i've got a shelf with a lip that's all blocked off now um but what i've done is i've left this as like a tall piece so then i can get like my photography stuff in there um you know like stands and lights and uh, tripods and things like that but also it serves a great purpose when we're camping because uh, then we can put like i think the uh like the toilet tent will go in there um some other bits will also go in there we can even put like some extra cushions and whatever uh, it's probably going to be a beer store while i'm at camper jam or you know the dubbed out festival but it, it serves that it's like a multi-purpose uh bit there which i'm super happy about because you know it was just becoming like a bit of a non-space and i don't like non-spaces uh i like to utilize all the space that i've got in the van and so i think i think we're done i just need to tidy this mess up oh. right so i'm going to explain the seat shelf to you and what it is um i'll put some b-roll at the beginning uh, of this video but um this is a seat shelf now i'm in the passenger seat at the moment um and this is where the seat shelf goes um i've drilled out some holes uh, to put the uh vw bottles in uh, i made them specific size so then these went in and didn't sort of rattle around they just stayed in so i tucked the carpet down into it so then it's like nice lovely um it removes quite easily now all it is is just resting and then underneath that's just uh i use just bits of wood uh, underneath just to for the cups to go in and rest on uh, but i didn't want to create an enclosure because if it gets mucky or spills i want to be able to clean it um and it literally just slots into place like oh i've dropped my cup and it literally just slots into place like that and that is it it just it's just there you know most of the weight's over this side uh, so it will never push down uh in this bit there's no anchor point underneath or anything like that it just slots in to the oh bloody hell turning lights on just slots into there so yeah i've driven loads with it and it's not gone anywhere i've driven loads with these in as well and that's not gone anywhere it's ace because your cigarette lighter point or 12 volt so socket is just there uh, which means that i'm probably going to get either a phone holder or i'm going to wire some wires through it so then i can have 
uh, wireless charging point here that's non-slip so I can just pop my phone there and charge it should I need to if I'm not using it as a sat nav but the fact that it's there means that you can pop anything you want to charge just here um, or here wherever you want all the way along there it's perfect for that sort of thing I've just got me uh, a jack button in there because it looks cool <laughs> and yeah it basically is just like a utility shelf in the front obviously you have to take it out when you uh, swivel the seat round um, and if you want an extra passenger in the car um, if you want somebody sat on the second seat in here then you're obviously gonna have to take it out but it's a really really simple thing to take out just pull it out shove it in the back and it's done um, and absolutely invaluable I've used it loads uh, since installing it and I've only had it for a few days and it yeah I just throw my house keys on there my phone on there uh, if I've been to the shop uh, and I've just bought a few things in my hand I can pop them on there it's just it, you, you don't realize how much you need it until you've got it <laughs> so yeah that is the seat shelf if you've got any questions at all just ask in the uh, comment section below and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe obviously uh, but yeah very very simple thing um the i obviously built this but um the one that you can buy with the link in the description below um it fits exactly the same way just slots in and everything like that uh, i think he's got a bit of trim on his and stuff and they do look better um but yeah that's basically a seat shelf it's nice thank you so much for watching i'll see you on next week's video which i think is the yorkshire caravan and camping show uh, we'll see what that's all about i shall see you in the next video take care see you bye